Hey! Welcome to another episode, and as you already know, we are now in Cape Town, South Africa. Today, we are visiting the Greenpoint Park. As a channel, one of our favorite countries in the world is South Africa. The first time in this country was in 2018, and we have been visiting almost yearly ever since. The Rainbow Nation of South Africa has so many beautiful things about it, and one of those beautiful things is the city of Cape Town in the Western Cape region. We are currently in Cape Town and heading to the Greenpoint Park today. Greenpoint is a biodiversity park. Please click on the like button for this video and also remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet. Also, turn on the bell notification icon so you can get alerted anytime we post a new video content. The Greenpoint Park is a good place to visit, relax, meditate and catch a break. It is open Mondays to Sundays from 7am to 7pm, and the great thing is that it is free for all to enter. It allows dogs and other pets provided that they are on leashes. The park is located at number 1 Fritz Sonnenberg Road, in the Greenpoint area. There were greens all over. So many things stood out here, and one of those was the view of the mountains overlooking the park. The scenery here is so beautiful, and the ambience is magical. We were prepared to take it all in. That this park is for biodiversity isn't hype. It truly embodies biodiversification as you come across a wide variety of flora, fauna, and some birds. The air was so clean and fresh. The water birds were such a beautiful sight, and oh, what great company they were. This fresh flowing water comes from the Table Mountains down through the wetlands area. Also, when you are at the Greenpoint Park, you feel the fresh breeze coming from the not-too-distant seaport. Full disclosure, we do not know the name for this thing, but it created some beautiful waves in the water. The Greenpoint Park is a good location if you're with family or friends. You should take the opportunity to host a picnic in the park. The park has several picnic areas with tables and benches. It's a wonderful location to enjoy company with your loved ones. As mentioned before, park is also dog friendly and you can wander along the paths enjoying the walks and biodiversity along the way. This is the stepping stone bridge where you can walk on the level of the wetland.
The fact that the city of Cape Town converted an unused area into a space where both people and nature can coexist side by side, displaying shades of a landscaped, utopia-like scene is really admirable. Greenpoint Eco Park was opened in April 2011 and has a clear focus on biodiversity, with a fascinating short walk inside the park dedicated to the local flora from these parts. Educational signs tell the story of how each plant was used for a variety of medicinal purposes by the indigenous Khorasan, who arrived in the area a little over 2,000 years ago. Wild mint, sorrel, wild fig and wild rosemary are but a few of the plants you would see here, as well as the tribal knowledge of each. The park is so beautiful. It has so many seating areas with shades, as well as playgrounds for kids. We came across this interesting and curious wash basin made of marble stones. It appears to be a convenient place to wash your hands and other parts of the body in case you pick up dirt. The wetlands created inside the park attracts a large number of birds including kelp and grey-headed gulls, red-knobbed coots, Egyptian geese and hadida ibises. Species that can be spotted lurking in the veldt are Cape bulbuls, Cape canaries and lesser double-collared sunbirds, to name a few. The Greenpoint Park is located very close to the Cape Town Stadium. Some of the football matches of the 2010 FIFA World Cup were played in the stadium when South Africa hosted the event in 2010. Thanks for joining us on this stroll in the park, see you in the next one, see ya bonga.